Bought, but fish as well. Joel Malcolm's suburban backyard is not very big, but it's extremely productive, with fruit trees and vegetables, and they're all thriving. However, this is no ordinary garden, because of all things, fish are an integral component. Joel uses a system called aquaponics, where wastewater from fish tanks is pumped into gravel-filled beds to fertilise his plants. The water is purified during the process and recycled back to the fish. I've always had an interest in organic gardening and while searching the net for permaculture stuff I discovered aquaponics and it just made so much sense that I started studying it and I started building my own systems from scratch. Well, the nutrient rich fish water is pumped through the gravel beds and then the plants extract the nutrients out of the water before the water's returned back to the fish again nice and clean and oxygenated and the plants grow really well. Oh, they're thriving, aren't they? Oh, they're fantastic, very healthy. The fish give off ammonia, and the ammonia builds up in the water and it can become toxic, so you need to strip the ammonia out of the water. The bacteria grows on the gravel, and it then converts the ammonia into nitrogen, and then the plants can use the nitrogen, and then the water's returned clean without the nitrogen levels. And I see you've gone for pea gravel for your medium. It's um, locally sourced, it's very cheap, it's free draining and it provides a great surface area for the bacteria to grow on. Ooh, silver perch. Yes, yeah, a healthy looking one. It is. He's, um, there's a number of different fish that you can grow in these systems. I grew a great crop of barramundi last year. And you can grow goldfish or koi carp or just about anything. You should probably check with your local fisheries department to see what's available and what you're allowed to grow in your area. And uh, how long until these guys are ready for the plate? About another two to three months and they'll be ready. Give me a call. I will. <laughs> So all the gear, the tanks, the pipes and the pumps, all off the shelf equipment? All off the shelf, available from local hardware stores. It takes a little bit of time, it takes two or three months for the bacteria to build up in the beds. Okay. But once the bacteria is built up and the system's in balance, then it's very robust and very stable. The water is constantly recycled, so it's actually very water efficient. And because there's no seepage, there's no nutrient pollution either. Yeah, so the system has to be organic by nature, Josh, because the bacteria and the fish would be affected if we spray any insecticides or fungicides into the system. So the only thing that goes into the system is organic fish feed. Now, there's obviously plenty of nitrates in the water because things are green and leafy and thriving. But how about trace elements and other minerals the plants might need? How do they get those? They get a lot of their trace elements out of the fish feed. Right. But if I find that there's any symptoms that they're lacking anything, then I give them a little bit of chelated iron or some seaweed extract. What would be your pitch to convert suburban gardens? Well, the, the system's holistic. The fish, the plants working together in a natural ecosystem. The water sound is beautiful. It's simple to set up, simple to operate, simple to maintain. It's just fantastic. Aquaponics doesn't have to be expensive. A lot of this system is built from reused materials and the cost of running the pumps is minimal. Oh, look at this little guy. Nice yabbies, mate. These are basically breeding stock. Right. I've got pairs of males and females in the tank, so I'm waiting to breed some up so that I can grow a lot of them next year. And I see you've got um, worm farms down below too. What are they for? Yes, in this system I'm going to be feeding the fish on worms and duckweed. The duckweed are growing in here with the yabbies and the worms are all growing underneath in the bins. The worms are going to be growing on off cuts and scraps from the grow beds of the old vegetables. I'll feed them to the worms, feed the worms to the fish as well as the duckweed. Joel, thanks so much for showing me around. I just love what you've done here. It's really inspiring. Now don't forget to call when those fish are ready. Will do.